Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Yup, this is Pen Light, whatever part of I am, because we, I don't know, we we played a lot of Pen Light. I can't even speak because I don't know how much that we made part of the Pen Light, and it's still so much to go. And um, also, I just, I just want to say I appreciate you guys' support. Uh, recently, I've been seeing one of my videos you know getting i know it's growing i'll, I'll put it on the screen because actually two i think two of the videos actually grow while i was working uh so thank you youtube algorithm uh, i really appreciate it you know let's just continue uh this actually made me feel more energetic just seeing that people are seeing my new videos you know new people and liking i really hope i'm going to make them uh you know enjoy this moment of my gaming channel and everything and we're going to have a lot of horror games a lot of anime games and as well some reaction videos thank you guys for the, the support really and uh yeah let's let's go you know hungry no just god damn it kill oh yeah so um her mother found out about what happened to uh, you know her daughter because well we hypnotized her and everything and she was kind of shocked but and then at the end um, she she thought it was all for you know practicing acting on you know in school or something but yeah actually actually went well uh, she believed it and that was nuts. Anyway, uh, let's continue. I put a hand onto the back of my head, head and sigh. I was sort of expecting this from her. Yeah, I know you didn't want your mom finding out, but you knew it was a risk and telling her was the only way to calm her down. Yeah, I didn't like to see her worry like that, but you didn't have to say we were doing some sort of culture festival thing together. Did you have any better ideas? Besides, we don't have to do anything to say we had to cancel something? Oh, I intend to. Gosh, if everyone saw us partnered up to the hypnosis show of all things, I'm never going to live it down. Live it down or something. I'm sorry, I can't read apparently. I sigh inwardly. Is that what she thinks of me still? If I knew this was going to happen, I never would have talked to you in the first place. I can't let it slide, not anymore. Oh, that's right, you're embarrassed of me, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not. You are. Hey, you oh wait. <laughs> For a second I thought he was doing something with her. <laughs> Dirty minded moment. Natsumi holds her hand to her template as she flops back down on her bed then sighs. Sorry, I'm not being fair to you. Is this all a bit much, you know? I sigh openly this time. Yeah, so anyway, you want to talk about what just happened? Natsumi nods. It seems I was every bit as affected as before, didn't I? Yeah, I tried to give you a lighter trance this time, but you still seem to go pretty deep anyway. I thought things were changed when your mom walked in, but you still couldn't help yourself. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to answer even the simplest questions that was an odd feeling to have in front of mom. But I told you, subconscious to ignore any harmful suggestions, I swear. Well, I mean, it was humiliating. But I don't think I was any danger, so I can't say I'm surprised that didn't help me. Yeah, I guess. So, how do we make sure that part works? But you're on it again, suggestion you jump out of a window or something? Absolutely not, don't be stupid. Okay, yeah, sorry, but that means we're still flying blind over whether your subconscious really has a limit to, his, to this stuff. So did we so did we really learn anything from this? Maybe not, but it wasn't fun to do this again and no one got hurt this time. I mean I could have done without mom knowing about this. She's embarrassed about that of course, but there's opportunity here. But she didn't mind at all, did she? 
well no yeah was actually she didn't mind us she was actually laughing at the end she was like oh my god this is so cute you guys are just acting <laughs> those hypnotized thing is you know kids nowadays <laughs> i have a feeling the model will probably say that you know oh well well no and are you sure you don't want to do to do a show for the culture fest if you think about it, I don't make our experiments a lot easier if we could say we're doing it as a part of a f of a, an official project. Maybe, but still, what's everyone at school going to think? I mean, you're the class rep and you'd be helping one of your classmates for the sake of the school. <sighs> She's doing it again, but I'll push through. Look, tell them whatever you want i don't care but seriously think about it yeah soon after atsuko called us down for lunch and some awkward conversation was had atsuko seemed excited about our partnership but we honestly didn't have much to say about it just that we were brainstorming ideas okay i didn't stay long after lunch notsumi said she had to go uh, she had to get some things ready for tomorrow, but she told me she'd think about what I said. So when I get back home, I crash on the couch and do some thinking of my own. All things considered, today went pretty well. I'm feeling better about myself. Natsumi is talking to me again and we seem to be working things out. But most importantly, I got my pen light back. Hey, let's go, you got your pen light back. Wait, why am I happy? That's bad news. Before I knew it, I'm walking into the start of another school week. Natsumi turned out to be busy for the rest of the weekend. She was saying something about wanting to make Hiroko's day special. Hey, happy music, let's go. It's frustrating. I may have my pen line, but I can't do anything without her. At least she sent out a text this morning. Hey, can we meet after cl club? I hope she's, she's talking about what I said. Committing to the culture festival would be a great way to keep a uh, what are we doing unless we want to put a stop to until half the exams are done oh god and I'm f and I don't think either of us want to stop sure I think someday we'll, you guys will stop I set back into the classroom arriving just before our homeroom teacher who wastes no time in talking attendance before wailing off some speech Mr. Kobayashi <laughs> Mr. Kobayashi is from Dragon Maid. Okay, I'll stop. No Dragon Maid reference here. It's illegal. Maybe. Who knows? Okay, I'll stop being cringe. Now, class, I hope you all remember you'll be doing your mock interest ex exams in a couple days. Just make it clear that exam season has well and truly begun. But this examination will in no way impact upon your uh, admittance to your college of choice. I did a little exam prep yesterday, but my head is not in it. It'll be your final chance to check your progress and read this before the examination proper. So do take them seriously, people. Yes, teach, I will take them seriously. I won't mess up. Okay, I'll be honest. In class, I was actually pretty bad at stuff. I mean, mathematic wasn't that hard for me because I don't know, I was, I don't know why, I was just good at it, but the rest of it, like history, um, you know, speaking your own language, wait, actually, I can't speak my own language, what I'm talking about, I mean, like, learning different um, language and, and all the stuff, like, those things I, I always failed, but like, math was like my favorite thing, sorry that I sound like a nerd, but math, I just, I love math, <laughs> I'll look to uh, I looked at the back of Natsumi's head, watching while she seems to listen to attentively to Kobayashi's little speech. It's hard to care about exams when all I want to know is what's on her mind right now. She's so thinking about food. Probably. I don't know. As Nats rolls around, once more, I lean forward a little as I watch Natsumi and her group pull themselves away from their seats. Hey Natsu, thanks for, the, for last night. Uh, no need to thank me again. I'm just glad you had a good time. <laughs> yeah, you knew this is what I needed, sis. It is nice what you can unwind after all that pressure, Hiroko. Tot 
POTUS, TUTUS, I don't know, I don't know how to spell that. We gotta do something for you when you act those exams. Well, there's a really no need. Uh, don't be like that. We'll figure something out, okay? Well, we'll see. So, lunch then? Yeah, let's get out of here. And with, the, and with that, the three of them head off with barely a glance my way. If I didn't know better, this this would be like any other school day. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. I don't know why every time I hear that sound, this reminds me of Final Fantasy's. Because every time we be the night, when it's 6 a.m., that song plays. At least classes were in two months of a bother today. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, I just realized she doesn't have the, her, her mark on her face when she got hurt. Oh, that's good. Still, as the day comes to an end, it's hard not to feel a little down. See you and remember, if either of you need assistance with exam preparation, you need only... Okay, Sayuri, we get it. We'll call you. Looks like Say Sayuri is just like me, but in math. Just like always, not to me, Chatter's nearby amongst the, her friends. It would not harm you to broaden your horizons a little, Hyuko. And I sit here and watch and listen. I said, I think about it, Jesus. But now more than ever, I feel I should be a part of that Chatter. Very good now, shall we? I don't think it's a good idea. Um, uh, what's your name again? Q. Because, uh, you know, those other two girls, the, the Sayori and Hugo, will be mad at you and they will. F yeah, and you will make uh, Notsumi uh, feel very embarrassed because you're talking out of nowhere there. So I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, not to, see, not to me, you smile at you, because you didn't do anything weird. Happy ending. <laughs> Maybe after today I will be. So we we'll meet after club, huh? Not having a club of my own, I had to walk home and chill out before heading back here near the time. When I show up, the classroom used for the literature club, eh, eh, Dr. Literature Club, reference, ayo, eh, is empty, but for it's presented, who looks up as I enter? Uh, hey, hey, Kyo. I have to say, she looks a little uncomfortable. What's up? Have you been thinking about what we talked about? Of course, I have. And? Nosumi doesn't speak her reply, rather she picks up a couple of papers from her desk and hands that, them to me. What's this? I ask, but as I glance at the front page, decorated top to the bottom in elegant handwriting, I realize what this is. It's an application uh, from for performing in the culture fest. She gives it an detective nod. I've already filled it in the relevant details. It just needs your name and signature at the bottom and then it's official. Perfect. I knew she'd come around. Oh my god. Oh wait, wait, wait. It's, oh god. She's gonna do that? She's gonna perform that like that? Oh, she's gonna be very embarrassed. That's awesome. Yes, but before you get too excited, you have to know we don't have a lot of time. We haven't done any planning and we have our mock exams in two days. I know we wanted to do our experiments, but we still need to do the work that has to come first. Oh yeah, of course. But after that, we should have a little time to... Hey Noto, you still in here? Oh. Oh no. Oh god. Uh, uh, oh, hi. Hi there. Hi, hi, how are you? How are you? How are you? Mm. Well, uh, this is awkward, you know. You, you, you came out of nowhere. You know, th that's how the plot twist works in every visual novel or anime or manga, whatever we say. Girls come in and then they see what you guys were talking about. Plot twist moment. <laughs> huh, here you come. I tense up an anonymous crap old friend. Barks in suddenly. Hey, I want to talk to you for a sec. 
Um, not to be glanced at uh, Noxious Lee in my direction. And Hiko falls her gauge to notice me for the first time, apparently. Yeah, hi. Hugo glows at me, but quickly loses the interest as she turns her attention back to her friend. Okay, I thought something bad would happen here. So, hey, at least she didn't punch him. <laughs> so anyway, I was in Cyrus Club just now. You were? Yeah, maybe, maybe all her nagging got to me. Big deal. Sides tennis clubs close all week and there's crap else to to do. Anywho, so I just said I gotta broaden my horizons a little. And it got me thinking I want in Wait. Wait 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 wait. Wait what? Wait yes, yes, yeah. What why is she looking at you like that? Like wait 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 wait. Does she want to practice as well? Wait I'm so goddamn confused here. Really? But I wasn't asking you for help or anything, and I, and I know how you feel about it. Yeah, well, if this is what you want to do for it, then I can't deal. Uh, uh, what's going on? Yeah, this is... <laughs> that's literally um, what I'm asking. Like, what the hell is going on here? So he wants to join out of nowhere? Or is this because Notsumi is going to join? Because it's her friend. Probably. I don't know. Uh, what's going on? I'm helping not to win the coach of festing it. Wait, wait, so you know about. Yeah, you're doing some weird hypno crap. Like that guy from last year with the pocket watch. Not so told me all about it. Not everything. Huh, so Nozomi actually told her friends about what we were doing? Uh, okay. Hold on, I didn't know nothing about this. What? Well, like I said, plot twist moment. Jeez. And uh, you said enough, so yeah, let me help you out. I mean, they were found out sooner or later, but after all the the fuss she was making about being seen with me, I didn't think she'd tell me tell them already. But do we really want Hiroko getting in the way of our work? I'm not sure not to me thought either of them would want to get involved. What we tell you being so busy studying and Hiroko being yeah, what are you looking at? Well, here we go. <laughs> uh, it's this. But does this idiot really know what she's signing up for? Is this so she can buddy up with Natsumi for the culture fest? Surely I can get her to have a second thought about this. How do you think you can help us, here we go? I'll... Because Natsumi and I can figure out the show by ourselves, so the only thing that'd be useful is having more people to hypnotize. Y yeah, and I can't have you there if you're going to dock things up for us. You understand? I'll need to be able to hypnotize you in front of the class, and if I can do that, there's no point in you being there. Yeah, I get it. Jesus. I, no, Jesus is up there, right? Dang, he's not Jesus. Yes, I'm a person who takes too, too many things too seriously. That was very English. You sure? Because I think you'll need to audience for this. I said I get it, you talking deaf crap hole. Stop being a jerk, Q. Figures on me would take her side. Damn. Uh, being a jerk, she's obviously here to mess with me. Oh, this ain't about you, so shut your mouth. Kyo, I'll handle this. But here go. He's right about you need to cooperate. You don't have to force yourself to do this on my account. I know, but I wanna... This gotta be a big deal for you, especially if you're teaming up with this docking dude. Standing right here. Ah, <laughs> uh, and you came out from me big, big time when I needed ya. So, like I said, I can't deal. Let me help. Well, if you really are sure. So much for us having time to experiment. Now we're picked up a third wheel. So, okay. If you could both sign your names here, I need to look up the club room now. So, I guess that's all we have time for today. 
we'll do our best for the mugs and then we'll all meet here again in three days okay you two okie dokie yeah be happy that you got what you wanted you little crap hole yeah sure yeah our main character wants to be alone with Natsumi his crush Okay, so me and Hiroko put our names to Natsumi's paperwork and we all headed home for the, for the day. Man, Hiroko getting in the way has really bummed me out. After me and Natsumi were finally starting to connect, starting to build something for ourselves. That little crab call ruined everything. But then, maybe there's a silver lining to this. I mean, who better a chopstick to use this on than her? Ow, I hit my arm on my desk. <laughs> okay, that actually hurt me. Nosumi wanted to know if this thing work on anyone else, and I can't imagine Hiroko will be very cooperative with me no matter what she says. But if my penlight works on her as well as it did on Nosumi, then not only do we provide it can work on other people. Wait, wait, it actually worked because we actually got the different ending, you know, we we choose the different path, the different fate or whatever, uh, that we actually hypnotize Hiroko. Um, I think you guys may know that, because actually that's like my second most popular video, I believe, from that I hypnotize her friend, that's called. So uh, yeah, you, you guys better watch that as well. Anyway, let's continue. But if my pen... Yes, I read wrote that. I wrote that okay yes I, I wrote this visual novel yes <sighs> I hate myself so much sometimes I can't speak properly okay it could possibly work on e even the most difficult subjects ones who have trouble uh, concentrating or simply don't believe they can be hypnotized maybe even people who don't want to be hypnotized this default default dip, yes Devil Wow for today I can't read that line it's it's, it's easy this develop development this got interesting I don't know what's wrong with me but I can't read that for today As tomorrow comes, I find myself walking to school feeling pretty confident. Despite everything that's happened with the pen line, we know to me, and even with Hiroko, things really do seem to be falling into place. Okay, here comes boys. All I have to do is get past these stupid mock exams and then the fun can really begin. Morning classes came and went as duly as expected. As our teacher focused their lessons on telling us what to expect in our paper, in our papers tomorrow. So it's no surprise when the lunchtime bell is created up, a pressable by my classmates. Not to be included as she and her friends pull themselves up from their desks. Ah, that couldn't come soon enough. Hell yeah, my. Brain's ducking buzzing, you gotta get some air. There's a murmur of agreement, but then Sumi unexpectedly turns to me with a polite smile. Would you like to join us, Kyu? She's asking Kyu to join. Yo, let's go. He did the thing. He finally made it. Hmm? I know what she said, but my brain still takes a moment to catch up. Come on, we got stuff to talk about, don't we? And I, w and I admit, I I am rather curious about this the the development myself. Oh my God, what is one of me? You know, me and I can't be seen seen together now. Nothing's weird. Everything's out in the open. Well, almost everything. Okay, so what they're going to talk about now. So I followed the three of them up to the usual spot up on the rooftop. Hey Nutso, you doing okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine, just a bit tired. It's your eyes again, isn't it? Yes, I am still confused what you have not had your glasses fixed yet, or at least have some sort of uh, alternative. I've just been really busy, besides I don't think my eyesight is really that bad. 
there's a quiet moment as we pull on uh, our lunches before Natsumi clears her throat gently and changes the subject. Not gonna lie, Natsumi looks uh, good without glasses. That, that is my opinion. So let's talk about the creature fest. Ah, very well. I admit, I am still surprised that the three of you are working on the public performance together. Especially ge given the subject matter, are you really s so keen to perform again after l last year, not to me? Um, well, it's not ideal, but it's all last ever school culture festival, and I thought I shouldn't waste it by staying in the background, you know? That may be. But for you to have talked to Q before us, it had to have been your idea to do this. Yeah, it must have been. Brrrr. As Sayo makes a deduction, I feel my stomach tighten as all eyes turn to me. But, well, why deny something that obvious? Yeah, I thought it'd be fun, so I asked Natsumi if she wanted to help, and she said yeah. That's right, he came to me and, well, you know, as class r representative, I thought it was right to encourage him to do something positive for the event. And uh, since I wanted to do more anyway, it seems like the perfect, per 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 perfect co uh, coincidence, right? Well, I am somewhat nervous about the distraction this poses for your upcoming exp examination, to say nothing of. Well, other concerns, but I admit, Kiyu, that I am impressed you were able to make a compelling case to Notsumi that she agreed to help you. To say nothing of the fact Hiroko is on board, I can only imagine how persuasive you were. Ah, duck off, Kiyu, didn't say crap to me. You know, I'm only doing it for Noto. Of course. But in any case, I wish the three of you well, and I look forward to seeing what results. Okay, I'm liking Sayori. She's actually pretty cool. She's like the the type of friend that supports her. Whatever you know, supports actually all, all, all people there. But here because it only supports not so because she's a massive sub. <laughs> but anyway, thanks. I think it could be a lot of fun. Haha. <laughs> It'll be something, alright. Yeah. After that, the conversation uh, pentered out into general chatter, mostly amongst themselves. Maybe they could've thought to include me more, but I guess it's okay. It's still nice to be here. And after tomorrow, we could have a lot more to talk about. So, so shall we head back? Hiko's groans and stress in her seat while giving a lazy nod. Yeah, you guys go on ahead, I want a couple more minutes. We will see you down there, Hiruko. I'm about to stand up myself when suddenly Hiruko looks at, looks to me with a skull. What? How about you chill up here with me for a bit? Uh, okay. Oh no. Something happening? Uh, why? As if I want to spend more alone time in this nasty face, Brad. But despite what I think, as if I find myself staying up while Hiroko watches a second for Notsumi and her uh, other friend to disappear through the, the exit. I still don't know why Notsu is so buzzed to do this dumb show when you. Like, she gives you the cold shoulder all this, all this time. What's the dog all to do in here? And now all of a sudden you wear her down? I just talked to her, that's all. You just talk? Guess that was some break for you when she hit her head, huh? Must have made her forget how crap you are. Doc, of course she was going to pull something like this. It's just as I thought, she can't just stand that, that me and not so could do something fun together. Look, what are you trying to say, Hiroko? You think I had something to do with that? I don't know, did you? I glare back at her as my stomach tightens once again. Of course not! She doesn't know anything about what happened last week, she doesn't. But I don't know if there was something about my exp expression or the tone of my voice, but she seemed to recall as my Daniel, D Daniel, whatever. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm just saying there's been a lot of weird crap going on. She grows with the menace as she stands up. I could almost be cute if I didn't know she's serious. But now I'm here. It's gotta stop. 
Cause if Natsu gets hurt again, I'll make you pay, I fucking swear. Oh god. The bell symbols for the, the end of the lines is as here goes a uh, treat. <sighs> Damn, here goes does have no chill. She glanced into my eyes for a moment, longer before grabbing her lunchbox and storming away, leaving me to pick up my things and reluctantly follow her back to class. The afternoon lessons came and went, but Ackerberry concentrated for a second. I knew Hiroko was going to ruin things, but it seems she's going to be more determined than I thought. But at least she doesn't know about my penlight. Man, I'm so l looking forward to shining all over her weak little face. If I'm lucky, I could get her off my back forever. At the very least, make her shut up for a while. Is that too much to ask? <sighs> no, I shouldn't think like that. I've learned since the night of the dead. I know I have to be careful about how I use this thing. Not me trusts me to be. Well, we'll we'll deal with Hiroko somehow. Well, at least that's over, man. What a burst. I'm glad those were just the mug exams because that was brutal and I don't want to think about what will happen when it's time for the real time. But in my defense, I had a lot of distractions. Distractions that I noticed just walked out of the classroom. Did you really find out? F find it so difficult? Yeah, I don't know why it's so hard, but I saw a lot of those questions and my mind just went blank. Maybe you... Maybe if you could have seen the questions better? I told you I'm not that nearsighted. This needed to squid a little bit. Oh, come on, Utsumi. You had an ample time to fix your frames. Had, had you not invested in this foolish school performance? Yeah, well, it ain't her fault if the school's gonna make us do Q&A in the middle of the crappy culture fest. You are knew well in Vince that this was coming. Perhaps if you had just a little foresight to plan ahead instead of in, in do, eh, indulging in this uh, spontaneously, if you cannot handle the intentional responsibility, you can always follow the rest of the class and help win the coffee. Coffee. We can hear on Sayuri. We can handle it, I guess. English. The evidence suggests otherwise. Man, would you let let it go already? You sound mad. No, really doesn't put in you both. That's talking worse, and you know it. Uh, hello, Kyo. This is then not me offers a grinning as she not me standing nearby. Yeah, hi. Is this gonna stand there or what? Hey, girls. I I was rough for you too, huh? Speak for yourself. I let out a little groan and it feels like not me and even you could turn in, turn it in. Honestly, I could really use a break from all this pressure and I have to wonder if my new associate feel the same way. Well, anyway, I thought that maybe we could get back to planning for the culture fest. You know, now that we're done with that. This is literally reminded me of the original Doki Doki Literature Club when they're going to do for the festival thing and uh, you know well, what happened next it didn't work out but uh, yeah will happen the same thing maybe maybe not who knows oh you three you three are most certainly not done with that besides we we said we'd get back on that crap tomorrow what's the rush well, the sooner the better, right? We can get our routine down and then we'll have time to figure those exams out after. Uh, no, all those exams gave me a fucking headache. I'm gonna go home and crush. Besides, the school is exactly closed for the day, but for our exams, the classroom will be off limits for your activities. Uh, but maybe that's not entirely true. Hmm? Oh, okay. Natsumi gently clears her throat before going going on to explain herself. I mean, I could ask Miss Shiba for the key. I'm the president of the literature club after all, and we get along pretty well. So she'd probably allow it if I asked. 
Are you serious, lady? I mean, she at least is trying to help here. Calm down, Hugo. It's not often I see Hugo shout out uh, not to me like that. It was just an idea, but not to me has a point. Not to mention, seeing Hiroko appears to be at the height of the irritant ability is only serving uh, to redouble my motivation. This would be the perfect time to try using the pen line on Hiroko as a test of its limits. Well, I mean, and I think I know this, how to rope her into going along with this. If you're not up to, to it, you don't have to join us today. You ain't doing crap today, we're going home. Really, here you go. It's fine. Me and also me can just do some basic prep, sharp, sharpen my skills, hypnotize a couple times, you know. We'll save the planning and your audience for tomorrow and when you're feeling bad. No big deal. Here you go. It's with your talker. You wanna do this, that, talking bad? Let's go. Okay, good. Good. Wait, why am I saying good? I don't know. I mean, at least. At least Q is doing something good. It's not like hypnotizing her for fun and stuff like he did. Well, he did in a different phrase. But yeah. So he clicks its tongue and sighs audibly. I could say something here, but I think it will leave you all to it. I need to head home and review my test answers. Have fun, you three. Bye bye, bye bye, Sayuri. Sayuri so runs the hand through her hair as she strides away, apparently done with us. That just leaves me to size the moment as I smile encouragingly to Natsumi. So do so do we want to find Miss Shippa? Sure. Okay. Okay, this may be the last scene I'm gonna do because I've been recording for like 40 minutes already? Damn. Uh, anyway, what's taking him so long? Nosumi found the the homeroom teacher for the literature club's classroom and got the key, no problem, but then she asked me to go in ahead and set things up while she had a quake war with you Hugo. What's three to set up anyway? I'm only supposed to be hypnotizing Hiroko in the stage show setting when the stage being just a couple of chairs facing the classroom. It doesn't take me a second to line the chairs up, but whatever those two are saying to each other hasn't been quick. Hopefully, they're not about to back up and leave me looking stupid in here because I'm getting psych head about hypnotizing Hiroko now. I don't think she realized how much I'm gonna enjoy watching her throw for me. I mean, she wills you every time, so it's time for you to get a rent. I mean, sure, we can't know how this pen line is going to work on her, but I'm feeling good about it. After all, the magic I've seen work on onto me so far. Oh, damn, that scared me. <laughs> Just then, I heard the door slide open, and I turned to find the girls have finally decided to join me. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kiryu. We're ready now. He goes eyes and messes her neck as she closes the door behind her. Yeah, yeah, stop admiring your pen and let's get it done already. Glad at her for a moment. It's not a pen, it's a pen light. Oh, my bad, don't mean to insult your little friend or, or anything. Yep, yeah, we're going to enjoy talking you in a few minutes, Hiroko. Whatever, so are you ready to on this now? I'm gonna put on a good show for me. Dude, could you turn off the creep vibe for like 5 freaking minutes? That's enough out of you too. No more bickering. Mr. Shippa gave me special permission for us to be here, so don't you dare embarrass me. Okay, I was trying to rile up Hiroko on purpose, but if Natsumi is this pissed as well, then maybe I do need to call it. Alright, fine. Let's just do what we can came here to do. Uh, yeah, I get it over with so we can go home. Come straight out of those exams, probably, but put us all on edge enough as it is. Okay, then, so here we go. Would you mind setting down over here? Still, a jaded as she is, Nosumi is still plenty eager to get to business. I see others here go to one of the seats I set up. And Kiyu, hmm? 
Would you like to give Hiroko a few pointers on how to be hypnotized? Build a little rapport with your hypnoti, perhaps. She smiles pleasantly as she leaves Hiroko to stand beside me before whispering into my ear. Just don't be a jerk about it. Yeah, message received. Here we go again. I don't really want to tell Hiroko anything, just flash the pen light in her face and be done with it. But for the sake of uh, appearance, I had best be professional about this, as it puts Hiroko with my best attempts at the smile. Alright, so getting hypnotized isn't that hard. All you need to do is relax, follow along to my rules, and just go in the flow. But most importantly, you need to want to be hypnotized, here you go. I can't do anything unless you allow me to, okay? Don't worry about a thing. He curls her eyes and Molly folds her arms around her chest. Yeah, the more you guys tell me not to worry, the more sus I get. I can't... <laughs> sus? <laughs> I'm almost... Okay, stop. I can't tell from her body language that she's still intense and she obviously doesn't trust me. Oh, wait, wait, this is different, actually. <laughs> it's good to see uh, her point of view. I just want you to have some fun with us, here we go. Normally, that would be a problem. Whatever, I can uh, handle Q for a couple minutes. Just don't try any, any creepy crap. Normally, a hypno hypnotist would be nervous about hypnotizing someone like her. They would probably send her back into the audience and find someone else. I'll do something simple and normal, besides Natsumi is going to be right here with us the whole time. Alright, so get it done already. But I'm more more than happy for here good to be difficult. Okay then, let's get started. Are you sitting comfortably? Yep. Then I'd like you to take a nice deep breath and stare up the light. Taking a deep breath and and as you ex Exhale, notice how easy it becomes to focus on this light, on the pattern forming in your eyes. Notice how effortless it becomes to let your limbs sink into the chair and relax taking another deep breath. Hiroko grumbles, but as I pass the light over her eyes a couple more times, I can see those sort of star starts start to sag. That's right, very easy to focus, very easy to relax. And those eyes are just locked in position now, waiting for every uh, rhythmic or rhythmic, I don't know, pass of the light as she watches those panels fashionated in spite of herself. There's no need to think about it at all. Just let yourself become more and more relaxed, just following the light, letting everything else go, here go. All the while, I noticed Natsumi standing there, there from out of the corner of my eye, watching Hiroko's intensely. Breathing, watching, relaxing, feeling yourself pulled deeper into the light, letting it all go as you're pulled deeper now, Hiroko. Oh, she's feeling it, and there it is, that distant look in her eyes as the light draws her in. It's just like the look Natsumi had. That's right, deeper and deeper, going all the way down as you sleep, Hiroko. Okay, she's sleeping now. Stepping my fingers for effect, I love the smile I've been restraining to spread across my lips as Hiroko tops uh, hard in front of me. Chopping nice and deep, Hiroko, deeper and deeper down into this nice, relaxing, dreamy state of hypnosis. I pause for a moment to look her over. She sure looks complete, completely slumped in, in that chair now, and her breathing is slow and even very promising. But now the real fun is about to begin. That's very good, Hiroko. Now, as you remain in this deep state of hypnosis that you are in now, I'd like you to lift your head back up. That's right. And while still as deeply hypnotized as you are, I'd like you to open your eyes. Here it is again. So, I'm gonna, you know, just, just take a picture real quick if you guys don't mind glassy heights there is all the confirmation we need as if we needed any any more there's no way he could fix this as look even if she knew how this girl is deeply hypnotized there's no doubt in my mind whether or not she intended to be a 
cooperative with me or if she was nervous or calm about the prospect of me having a time so it doesn't seem to matter. My plan line ensures she she drop into a trance for me no matter what. It really does work on other people. Um, okay you. This then on to me soft whisper takes me out of my thoughts. What is it? Could you have her close her eyes again, please? Oh, uh, I guess Hiruko does look a little creepy like that. It does. Very good, Hiruko. Okay, close your eyes now. Hiruko lets out a tiny sigh as uh, her eyelids fall close and her hair begins to throb downwards again. So, what now, Kiyu? You had something in mind, right? Right. We didn't actually get a chance to discuss what exactly I. I do when Hiruko watches turns. I also could have sworn I saw Nosumi Trimple as she asked me is uh, ask me is she is she excited about seeing Hiruko acting on the succession. Yeah, I thought about telling her her tongue's falling out of her mouth so she can't talk without it getting in the way. Oh well you made Notsumi mad. I'm about to turn my intensity back to Hiruko, only I catch Notsumi making a face at me. What? Do you really think she would be uncomfortable with something like that? Honestly, Hiruko's comfort was not the forefront of my mind, but I'd better not tell her that. I just think she could be really weirded out by that, not to mention. Well, I can see her talking that phrasing, phrasing badly, really. Yes, really. She may think her tongue was getting in the way like you meant, or she may think her tongue was literally severed from her mouth. Do you want her screaming in pain, Kiyu? No. I don't like how long how long you took to answer that. <sighs> okay, never mind, I'll think of something else. She's right though. I do need to be careful what I say to Hiruko while she's in trends if I want to avoid another zombie <laughs> accident. Okay, fine. I'll just tell her she can't speak for a while. Nosumi folds her arms and sighs. Somehow I'm not surprised you want to make her quiet. But okay, just for a little while and watch your wording. I nod as I return to her Hiruko's side and start to speak slowly and clearly. Okay, Hiruko, I want you to imagine in a few moments not being able to speak. You'll still be able to move your lips and you'll always be able to breathe normally, but you won't be able to make a single sound come out of your mouth. The more you try to speak, the more you'll find that you simply can't make a noise with your mouth. You'll only be able to move your lips, do you understand? Yeah. I gave Natsumi a quick glance in case she had something to say to me, but this gives me a little nod. See, 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 eh, seems she has no problem with any phrasing this time, so all that's left is to bring Yuko out of trance and see how she does. Very good, Yuko. Now, when I count up to three, you're going to awaken from this trance, feeling fully alert and awake in the reality, eh, reality I just described. Let's see how many do. Been recording this for 50 minutes, boys. I swear. Very good, Hiruko. Now, when I count up to three, you're gonna wait. Okay, I'll write about that. Awaken in one, two, three. Wide awake. Hiruko's eyelids lazily put back for a moment before she starts to set up straight in front of us. Welcome back, Hiruko. How are you feeling? Oh. Wait. Feel any different? <laughs> oh, don't be shy. You can tell us. I love. All of a sudden, Hiruko stands up from her chair, eye, eyeballs me fur furiously waving her hands while her lips impotently flap up and down. I'm not much of a lip reader, but I'm pretty sure she mentioned docking at least three times just now. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Sorry, you do look a little silly though. No. Uh, okay, okay, sit back down and we'll get you talking again, alright? Yeah, <laughs> she's embarrassed. Wait, actually, hold on. This this may be a perfect uh, picture for this as well. Oh my god, this is actually funny. Okay, hold on. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go. Hiko noiselessly slumps back down on the chair and 
the feet while Natsumi turns towards me. As our eyes made it clear, we both thinking the same thing. Hiko is completely helpless to resist my simple suggestion, no matter how much it infuriates her. So I think you could pass her on the other screen flying colors, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I have to agree. Leaning forward, I grin as I give Yuko a wizarding pat on the shoulder. Well done. Short stuff. As she looks me full in the eye, there's no ignoring the movement of her lips, which slowly and deliberately mouth the word mother trucker. Okay, settle down. Do you want to speak again or not? I guess I can take that as a yes, and I respond by holding my hand out in front of her. Putting her on the window pane line again will be easy, of course, but if I'll be doing this to her in front of the audience later, I should try something a little flashier. Alright, so I want you to take my palm and push down as, as hard as you can. Oh my god. The, uh, I don't know. I don't wish to choose for the thumbnail now. I just don't. That looks pretty cool though. Okay. Maybe I'll use that. Maybe not. No, no I don't use that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm thinking about like what thumbnail I should use, you know? But, well, I don't want to be, you know, clickbaited like other people, all the YouTubers do, but whatever. Man, it looks cool, 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 but if you guys should be more than willing to take a little uh, aggression out on me as I feel her little fingers dig into my hand. She's really going for it. That's right, when your arm out like that, it's just pushing so hard. That's right, pushing, pushing, and sleep. Oh damn, okay. Without warning, I let my hand drop uh, loose and Hiroko's hand slams down towards the floor with it and as, as her hand dropped, so did the rest of her. All the way back down, that's right here. So not Uh oh. This day not to me lets out a quiet gas as the door to the classroom is suddenly pulled open. Meshiba. Oh, God, Akami Homura and colleagues. Koyama, ma'am. The teacher notices Hiroko slumped into the chair in front of us, but lets her curiosity go as me and Natsumi bow awkward to her for a moment and she returns the gesture. Anyway, I just need to get so some things from my desk. Please carry on. I mean, what are you doing? Yes, ma'am. Oh my god, Natsumi turns her back to me while she politely faces the homeroom teacher who saddles over to her desk. I can't talk here, got out of trench while the teacher is bothering us like this, too awkward. So we both still started looking in Mr. Super's direction when she pulls a textbook from her jaw before shivering slightly. Oh, by the way, Akimi? Akimi or whatever. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you didn't have to finish that book I lent you, did you? Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. This day, Natsumi steps forward towards the teacher, wielding her hands as she looks awkward as hell from being put on the spot like that. It's in my room somewhere, but I'll remember to bring it to me tomorrow, I promise. But as Mrs. Shippo's song goes, my mind starts to turn. Huh, it's holy life or death, but I will like it back. I'm here. I'm here. Natsumi's over there. We need her back to me. But tell me, what did you think? Hiko still, still standing in front of me, completely unmoved by all this commotion, still very deep in trance. I am, well, I have to admit, I found it difficult to read at first. Hiko is in and whispers something in her ear. I mean, you can sure tell in some parts. There's some awkward phrasing that gives away the fact that it's been translated from its native language. Well, I had a lot of time to think about this last night, about what I may suggest to Hiroko if I had a chance like this. But I really enjoyed it. I can't see why it's a favorite of yours, ma'am. But if I'm going to do it, I need to be extremely qu quick. I thought you may appreciate it, Akemi. So I'll... Oh, no. 
Oh god, there's another option. How many options do I have to do here? Oh my god. You know what? Um, let's wait for this for the next time. I've been recording this for almost ex literally almost one hour. So, um, yeah. This was like my ever first time recording something that long. Almost like for an hour. So, uh, yeah, this video may be like a one, almost one hour. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for yeah watching this video. Like I said, um, make sure to subscribe or gi give a thumbs up as well uh, if, if you really like the video, of course. And uh, yeah, uh, if you don't like the channel, unsubscribe. If you like the channel, subscribe. So yeah, see you guys in next video. Bye bye.